Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Love Psychic Reading for the Pisces Sun, Moon, Horizon sign. Pisces, what's happening for you in love? How are you guys doing? You are the love of the zodiacs. Okay. All right, Pisces, I'm seeing wallflower. What's happening to the wallflowers out there? Mm, Pisces, there is a mystical reading that is up. Check out, go check out your mystical reading. For you, Pisces, it's going to be beautiful because you can manifest anything between the 31st of October and the 31st of March. Your birthday falls end of February, March. So uh, 2020 is going to be a good year for you. It's good to order a 2020 reading. So from there. All right, Archangel Shamuel, the Cheryl Angels. Let's see what's coming up for the Pisces, Sun, Moon, Horizon sign and the psychic love energy for Pisces November. Open relationships. So I'm seeing that some of you Pisces wants to think about open relationship. This is coming up for you Pisces. Then what we have here, we have some of you feel as if you're trapped. So you want to be in open relationships. Alrighty. And then we have spiritual growth. So whatever is happening, some of you Pisces are going to use some real spiritual growth now in your life and uh, some of you are feeling trapped i'm seeing that some of you new love is coming in for some of you um whoever you're meeting and whatever this new love that is coming in i'm seeing you men um businessmen i'm seeing that you are going to be uh, meeting someone new male you blonde blue eye ready your male you're coming up so you could be the businessman i'm saying that some of you might be um meeting someone who is um lawyer or so i'm seeing the soulmate twin flame is here for you guys it hasn't come out the twin flame hasn't come out for a lot of people this month so um pisces when the Twin flame comes out for you. That's a lot. I'm seeing you are going to be having fun with your twin flame. So, wow. Pisces. Oh boy. So I'm seeing new love coming in for some of you Pisces. And this new love is a twin flame. Whoever this twin flame is that is coming in for you um, Pisces. Some of you... Um, working men um you know businessmen works in an office uh, wear a suit um i'm seeing that you're going to be meeting your twin flame so let's look and see what is happening spiritual growth is coming up for some of you and um the spiritual growth could be for people in um let's say educational people people who are highly educated high professional people that sort of a thing okay so we have open relationship and i have to put my glasses on with these because these are quite small um this deck that i'm using is um i think it was german it's designed by the germans and uh, um on mutton so mars and venus some of you could be meeting an aries mars and venus some of you could be meeting an Aries, so some of you Pisces could be meeting an Aries. Um, Pisces are better being with uh, hurt sign people, but I'm seeing that some of you could be in an open relationship with an, um, an Aries, okay? Then we have for control, I see Basloot and Fardakite, where Venus and Mercury is here. So I'm seeing communication. You, Some of you feel as if you're trapped, trapped in your relationships. I'm seeing you communicating that, which is um, good. Okay, spiritual growth. I'm seeing Uranus and Mars. Uranus and Mars explosive. So 
um, I think some of you are just going to explode um, that you feel as if you're trapped in a relationship you're going to be explored that sort of an energy is coming up but, um, but it's in the reverse because it's as if you come to a boiling point you explode and then you realize uh, I'm not really trapped is that I'm going spiritually okay then I'm seeing the Sun in Mars the Sun in Mars so some of you um, definitely is meeting someone new and you're going to be feeling as if uh, you're you're alive you're alive whoever this person this new love that is coming in is making you feel as if you're alive okay you men, businessmen, I'm seeing you have Uranus in Venus, uh, instability. So there's a lot of instability in your love life. You men, you working men, entrepreneur, um, there's a lot of instability in your life. The blonde, blue eyes, men, Neptune in Mars, elusive. <laughs> okay, this is the energy of Pisces in love. This is the energy of Pisces in love because you are in love within an illusion, okay? So you blue eyes, blonde eye people are in love with illusion because you want to be free and happy and having fun and that's not what life is all about. So you're full of illusion, you blue eyes, blonde hair, red eyes people in this month. So you're dreaming of something that won't happen, okay? The professional men, Uranus in Venus, fresh, um, fresh wind. Uranus in Venus, fresh wind. So you um, professional people, some of you could be getting divorced and you're feeling as if, wow, I'm out of that relationship. I am feeling so good. So whatever is transpiring, Uranus in Venus is when you have ended a really... Um, um, a, a, a marriage a long-term relationship you're feeling good you're taking on the world because you're feeling good so that is coming up twin flames Uranus and Mars um you're in a really a twin flame relationship and you're overwhelmed you're overwhelmed you're overwhelmed you're overwhelmed okay because you're in a twin flame relationship Uranus in Mars could be um, that if you are a, a February Pisces, you might be in a relationship with an um, and uh, and Aquarian. Okay, fun times. Fun times is the Sun in Venus. You feel um, as if you're um, attractive. You're attracting the right people, the right situations. You're having a lot of fun and attracting really high vibrational people sex is good everything is happening that is in a power a powerful part of your chart because that is the sun in venus and that means you're feeling good because you're free you're having fun and that is where you feel as if your life is all about i'm seeing open relationship i'm seeing some of you um businessmen being very confusing um i'm seeing Twin flames might be ending their relationships. I am seeing that some of you have been thinking about it. And in the in the in, in the month of November, you might decide to just end that twin flame relationship. Okay, it's up to you. Um, if you end it, um yeah. It's create you're creating more karma for yourself. So if you end your twin flame relationship, you're creating more karmas for yourself okay so um you gotta know that okay so with open relationship we're seeing that some of you are connecting with a virgo and um that is what you choose to be with this virgo is coming in this is a new love some of you are meeting a virgo and you're ha having an open relationship with a virgo um, you're happy um, and this is a new love that is coming in because definitely the unmutants is meaning that you're going to be meeting someone so you're meeting a Virgo uh, some of you could meet in a Gemini but you're you, you this new love that is coming in um, you're going for it because this is a new love 
um, new love is coming in from a Virgo or a Gemini and you decide that you're going to be going for either or either so some of you will be meeting a Virgo or a Gemini okay and you're going for this you both are psychic whether it's a Virgo whether it's a Gemini you're both are psychic so it could work out because of uh, that you're both psychic wow something isn't good though with this um the whoever you're meeting something isn't good because i feel it in my throat whenever that comes up control i'm seeing some of you sitting in a controlling relationship and relationship from a past life but i see um you are going to get yourself out of this controlling relationship okay and this controlling relationship is with an Aries so some of you who are in a relationship with an Aries you feel controlled bound to this person and you are thinking about walking away from this relationship because it's as if this person has been controlling your life your whole life and you're thinking about walking away it's someone that you um, love it could be a mother but um, this person is very controlling it is an Aries but the person is very very controlling and I am uh, is someone from a past lifetime so it's always be a mother it always be someone who you know from a past lifetime it, it's not a soulmate or a twin flame it's just this could be a mother or a parent that is very controlling okay happiness and joy um is coming up um some of you are happy because the ten of cups you're happy with how your life is going um uh, you know there could be um you explode in a relationship and then you realize uh wow i am not trapped it's uh, just that i'm growing I'm learning to love I'm learning to understand that I can't be in love all the time love is something that you share for a lifetime so you explode and you're you're spiritually growing and this is good and you're happy and content you had to just realize by the explosion you explode and by the explosion you just had to realize that um, it is a spiritual relationship and you need to grow spiritually from this relationship okay so um this is good because it's as if um you were in a relationship and you feel so trapped and you feel so and then you explode and then all of a sudden you look at the person and you think why because you know my life is good why what am i looking for this is where i need to be you know it's as if you awaken um you're psychic or you're awakened from this because you explode and then your angels is like bam 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 wake up don't you see that this is the right relationship for you you're healing you're growing from this relationship so that is happening new love new love is coming in some of you are dealing with um um new love is coming in and it is sun in mars and um some of you are this new love that is coming in um you, it, it's as if you're trying to figure out this person because this person has some negative energies or you have some negative energies but whatever is transpiring you could have divorced because this is the devil energy you could have divorced coming out of a divorce and you're meeting someone and you're on the edge you're like on the edge you're looking at things uh, um from a distance you're not letting anyone anyone um close because some of you could have just gotten out of a relationship with a virgo and you're like holding back someone new is coming in but you're not opening up to this person because it's as if you're holding back it's as if you're not really feeling it and you're holding back because you're looking for the red flags before you open up yourself so um that is coming up young men young businessmen i'm seeing you i i don't know what's happening with the virgos the virgos are really coming up young man i'm seeing a situation with your mom if your mom is a virgo i'm seeing a situation with your mom now some of you um men if your mom is a virgo this is the energy of a virgo and it's an older woman 
I'm seeing these two older women. One is an Aries, one is a Virgo. You're very confused over an issue and a situation. Instability. You're very instable. There's instability in your world. There's instability in your life. Your mom could be instable. Uh, and there is another woman. Okay, so it could be um, your mom and your mother-in-law. But whatever is transpiring, you, you both love these two people. But there is really some instability. Maybe these two people that you're dealing with, um, it doesn't have to be your mom, but it can be that you're dealing with an older person. This person is 45 years and older. I'm seeing a Virgo and I'm seeing an Aries, a Leo or a Sagittarius. Now, it is not really showing up who is this person, but this person is a fire sign. This person is like, your, it could be your mom that is very stable and you're instable um and you're trying to take some uh sort of uh characteristic from your mom um because you're admiring how stable your mom is and you're in this fast of instability because you don't know what you want and where you are blonde eye blue eyes red hair you're receiving a message um there is a situation with an aries you're receiving a message from an aries um there is definitely you're receiving a message from an aries some of you um could be um turning your back the king uh, the king comes up and it, it has to do with fair males you male could be in same sex relationship because you're in love with Elusi. So you blonde, blue eyes, red, red hair, you're in love with Elusi. Whoever this, um, this person is, this is a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. I am seeing they are turning their backs to you. And I guess because you are in, you're in love with Elusi and they're realizing that, hey, um, you know, this person, I don't think this person is going to grow up and this person is in elusive because this person um could be in a same-sex relationship where this man is an um a taurus virgo or capricorn which is an older man now you could be in a same-sex relationship and you're like dreaming you're always in a dreaming state and this man is a more mature man that is turning his back and moving on and he's going to be letting you know this it could be that you're dealing with an old taurus virgo or capricorn person and they're turning their backs because they realize that you are in the sense of a dream states and elusive and they're not waking waiting for you to be awakened so whoever you are you pisces and your blonde hair blue eyes you gotta be out of this elusive you gotta wake yourself up because you're in a dream state. You're in a state of illusion where you're dreaming about the things that it's just, you know, you're supposed to dream, but you're always in dreaming in love. You always want to be in love. You can't be in love all the time. And I think that someone is going to tell you or whoever the star is, where Capricorn is, they are turning their backs to you. This is a mature person. This person is thinking, hey, you're wasting my time. And they might not say it to you, but they're like, okay, I got to let you off slowly and slowly because they realize that you're dreaming and that you'll never wake up out of your dream state. So they're letting you down very easy. This doesn't have to be for the blonde hair, blue eyes alone, but it could be also for a woman that is, that if you're in a relationship with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, I see them turning their backs to you and you're not really realizing that they are leaving you, but they are doing it in such a way that by the time you realize that it is over, because they realize that you're, you're in a dream state, you're in an illusion state, and they are protecting themselves and they are taking their times and releasing you. So... Maybe this is the month that you're going to realize that they have uh, released you. Uh, or maybe, um, yeah, th there is a lot of message that is coming in. I'm seeing 
there is a lot of message that is coming in so some of you could be getting divorced uranus in um i'm seeing some of you getting divorced and some of you are feeling good some of you could have been getting divorced uh, or got, have gotten divorced and you're out on the market now i'm seeing you um um you know you men professional men i'm seeing you find a alien because you got divorced from an aries and now you are starting over with a capricorn so some of you could have divorced an Aries and now you're starting over and you're choosing for earth sign person, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So news is going to, it, it, you could be telling them or they could be realizing it. And I, I think this person is going to receive the, the news that the divorce is finally over. I think um, some of you were in a relationship with someone that was married to an an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, but this is coming up more as an Aries person. They're, the divorce is now over, and they're letting you know that, hey, I've ended the relationship, and they want to have a new start. You want to have a new start with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So this is coming up. It is definitely coming up. Okay? definitely 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 coming up it is definitely coming up so whatever that was and whatever that was happening there is just news messages coming in i think that some of you are happy getting out of your marriage and you are letting a taurus virgo or capricorn uh, um, know that you your marriage is now over and you know you you two can start the day all right, the twin flame and soulmate for the Pisces. What is coming up? Twin flame and soulmate for the Pisces. As I already said, um, nine of wands, you're protecting yourself um, from this relationship. This twin flame, you're protecting yourself. Why? I just see that you are afraid to deal with a, a twin flame relationship. But whoever you are, you're protecting yourself you don't want a new start with this person it's better to tell this person that you don't want a new start and you want to move on but you keep on protecting yourself and not being honest and this person is gonna find out and i'm telling you something karma is a is a debt because you know i think this person already know and they're watching what is your next move because obviously you're protecting yourself from your twin flame whatever is transpiring you're protecting yourself from your twin flame you don't want to have a new start um or you wanted to have a new start but it's not happening so whatever is going on i'm seeing that the twin flame the other person is going to they know exactly what is happening and they're going they're letting you down easily but I want you to know something. Whoever is in a twin flame relationship and you're not being honest to your twin flame, you're gonna be um you're gonna be you, you're gonna fall, you're gonna receive another relationship that you wish you didn't have. And you're gonna be wanting to go back to your twin flame, and your twin flame is not going to want to have anything to do with you. So I am seeing that and the twin flame is going to cut all connection with you in this lifetime and all lifetime to come. So whoever you are out there, before you make the decision to end a relationship with your twin flame, because ending a relationship with your twin flame, you create more karmas because you both had choose to be with each other. And I see you're protecting yourself, nine of ones. Some of you could be... um um whatever is going on some of you whatever is going on with the twin flame relationship i'm seeing you protecting yourself it's as if you're not ready for that sort of a love and you're supposed to be the sign that is in love but you're just not ready and i think you should just be honest and move on just be honest move on some of you are having a lot of fun with a leo some of you are having a lot of fun with a Leo, a scorpion, 
and you know they're communicating it's fun um you're having this wonderful time because there's a lot of communication but it's not gonna last not gonna last it's just def definitely not gonna last whatever is happening you're having fun and the fun is good now but it's not gonna last you're gonna be ending up christmas just being lonely and alone okay so whatever is transpiring you're having fun now enjoy because it's not gonna last because christmas you're going to be ending up feeling alone now whatever is transpiring with the marriage people i'm seeing that your relationship is kind of down the pisces you pisces are protecting yourself in the marriage so this is also an energy of marriage as uh, some of you wants to end your marriage and is ending your marriage some of you do not want a new start some of you are protecting yourself whatever is going on whether it's your twin flame or your marriage i'm seeing your marriage over you want your marriage to be over you are going to be getting what you want wow pisces what a month what a month what a month who pisces yeah you know and you know i i see a lot of people out there doing <laughs> readings about twin flame and soulmate when they know not what is going on in order to ascend you need your twin flame if you had come in this lifetime to be with your twin flame you need to be with your twin flame okay because you could be negative and your twin flame is positive and your twin flame is helping you to ascend now what i'm seeing here is that someone is not being very honest to their twin flame some of they some of you know that someone is your twin flame and you're not being very honest to this person whatever is happening or whatever is transpired there is no honesty that is in this twin flame relationship and you know the thing about it is that it's, it's as if you you end this relationship or the person end the relationship it can be vice versa that either the person end the relationship or you end the relationship but whatever is happening and transpiring you gotta realize that you gotta be honest pisces you just gotta be honest you know don't play someone else because you don't want to be played and I'm seeing someone out there that is playing their twin flame and you're going to be played. The next person who you're going to have, you're going to end up alone. And why you're going to end up alone is because you choose to be in a twin flame relationship. You played your twin flame. You're getting out of the relationship. And it's as if the universe is going to say, okay, all right. So you want to have all your fun. You don't want to grow spiritually. You don't want to do anything, the right thing that you're supposed to do. So guess what? Uh, we're going to teach you a lesson because that's how the universe is. And that's how, and you can, you can meet a lot of women and a lot of men after that and none of them. And you end up being alone and you're going to regret, but your twin flame has accepted that and decide to move further and cut the connection so you will never deal with they will never want to help you um to heal anything else anymore because they realize that even if someone is your twin flame and they're holding you back basically you have the choice to say to the universe i need to end this relationship because it's not serving any purpose anymore because the purpose that it was supposed to be serving the other person doesn't want to work with me so I'm letting this go and um, you're gonna see if you if you try to play your twin flame or outplay you're gonna end up being miserable and alone sometimes you see people um, alone and being miserable and everybody else have their their partners and that sort of a thing is because you did something that was you break a contract without even saying it and deceive someone else and this is what is transpiring oh A lot of these things happen marriages are not looking so good people want to leave their marriages let it go if you think that you have come to the end of the marriage you can let it go um, just move on with your life but be honest to people I, I think that some of you are playing other people's feelings it is bad because you create karma 
it is better if you realize that a relationship or a marriage is a working than you said you know and I'm saying that some of you have been just playing games with other people feeling you have to understand Pisces that um, life is full of surprises and uh, you want to be in love all the time but that's not what life is all about okay and if you realize that you don't want to be in a relationship with someone do not block someone else's way it is time for you to release the person and you're not being honest and a lot of people who are not being honest to their partners and other situation in their life always end up um, being alone in life because uh, people don't see you as being serious and uh, people use you and then they move on and this is a situation that is going to be happening to some of you Pisces out there um, because honesty in a relationship is very important and you're going to be playing and using other people and playing and um, you're creating your own karmas because remember your water signs so whatever you do you work with the unseen world and your water signs okay I love you guys I'm wishing you a wonderful month please like share these videos and congratulations to all the other people who are having new love and things are working out. Congratulations. Namaste.